All right, we're in the ice cavern, and here, this is where we need to go before we can get to the water temple. This isn't technically a dungeon, it's more of a mini mini dungeon, but we're going to uh, go ahead and work our way through here. You can slice the uh, stalactites or stalagmites, I can't remember which is which. One of them's on the top, one of them's at the bottom. Anyways, you come in here, and you're going to see a new enemy called the Freezers. They're really a pain in the ass, but if you just slash them a couple times with your sword, you can defeat them, no problem. Don't let them do that to you, though, because you'll, uh, you'll lose about a heart, half, maybe two hearts worth of damage. A couple uh, jump attacks, though, and they should be good to go. There's one that's always, you know, invisible and always, uh, you know, always, you know, moving, and most of them don't do that. Okay, so now that we've killed all of those, we're going to go in here. Get some hearts. Alright. In here, it should be the blade room. Yes. We're going to, uh, from here, whoa, we are going to collect all the rupees. And you, as long as you run counterclockwise, clockwise, you'll never get hit by the blade. But you have to keep moving the whole time. The last rupee, I believe, is over here. All right, this is Skulltola number sixty-nine. We'll go ahead and grab him real fast. Yeah, while he's here. Uh, sixty-eight. Sorry, I can't count. Um, but now we've collected all the, uh, rupees, we can head to the next room. Now in here, we're going to discover something called Blue Fire. Well, uh, now we have a couple more rooms. I'm going to go ahead and kill this little freezer real fast. Get some arrows. Might need those in a little bit. I think here is where... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pull out my uh, bow and kill these keys because these guys will freeze you in place and they're not any fun. Oh, something I should have mentioned earlier. Make sure you are not wearing your Goron's tunic because you will take extra damage because, you know, it makes you susceptible to ice. And the same goes with uh, when you get the Zora's tunic, which we're fixing to get here in a little bit. Make sure you're not wearing that inside a fireplace or you will immediately get killed. Alright, from here, this is blue fire. Um, it says it doesn't seem natural. Uh, we're going to fill all four of our bottles up with it. So, that's going to take me a minute, so I will cut this part out. Alright, now as you can see, I've got all four bottles full. And I'm going to come over here. I'm going to try to kill this guy first. I'm going to wait till he's uh, not trying to kill me. I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to use my blue fire on the red ice. Kind of a cliche, I know. But we're going to get the dungeon map. Um, I'm not sure if I need to refill my bottle yet. I'm going to go ahead and do it so far. Um, but blue fire is pretty much... The thing we're going to need later in the dungeon, I'm not going to worry about filling it up because I've already fell and I'll just be wasting time. So, from here, we'll go back to the blade room. And as you can see, the uh, freezer is facing the other way, so we can should be able to take him out pretty quickly. The worst part about this dungeon is it's slippery, so you have to worry about jumping. Alright, we're going to go to the room that's on the left. Of course, to get there, we're going to have to... Uh, unfreeze it. So, I'm going to equip another bottle of fire. Alright, we'll come in here. There should be... There's some more blue fire. There's also a couple keys. Alright. We're going to go ahead and grab this Skulltola. I'm going to go ahead and equip my other two bottles of fire as well, because we'll need them. But this one's number 69. I think. Yes. 
Um, we're going to grab this heart. And I don't know why I didn't equip both bottles of fire, but it's alright. But this is heart piece number 24, which will put us at 14 hearts in our heart energy meter. And then the last one, I'm going to go ahead and actually... Because we're going to refill our hearts, or our bottles, after we get this done. And then here is the compass, so... Now we can see where everything is, and this will help you get keep from getting lost. Alright, we're going to go ahead and fill up our bottles. I think this is the last time we'll have to fill up the bottles, but I'm not positive. We filled up all of our bottles, so we're going to head back into the blade room. And we're going to take the door that we did not take last time. Or the only one that's left. And if you roll under this, sometimes you can avoid the uh, blades, but it doesn't always work. Alright, around here there should be another Skulltola. I don't know if it's in this room or not. It'll be, it should be in here. Yeah, there's a Skulltola in here somewhere. I'm gonna try and take out these keys before they get too close. Should be all the ones in here. Yeah. All right. Don't don't fall in there. Go ahead and grab Skulltola number seventy. Really? Come on. All right. That's number seventy. So now we're going to push the block as follows. Push it forward. Whoops. Grab it and push it forward. And you want to grab the uh, rupees as you uh, as you progress through this, because uh, otherwise you're not helping yourself. Then we'll go push it to the left. I don't think I can get. To, I don't know if I can get to this one or not. I'm gonna try real fast. Just you know, just before I get that far. Come on. Yeah, there's that one. All right. After you push it left, you're gonna push it to the right. Which, uh, this would be right compared to what, the way we last pushed it. And then you're going to push it. Uh, you're going to get the rupee, and then you're, you're going to get this rupee, and then you're going to reset it. Come on. In order to reset it, just, uh, Toss it back in the, the pit. And it'll pop back up. So then we're going to push it left. And we're going to push it to the right three times. And then we should be able to climb up and grab the rupees that we're needing. Maybe not. Oh yeah, we I forgot to have you push it to the left. Okay, climb up here. You should be able to uh, get up there. We're gonna use our last uh, one of our last or our next bottle of blue fire to get this last rupee. And now we gotta get there. Make sure you have two bottles of fire left, which I do. So. We won't have to, uh, you know, get any more. Now from here, we've got to be able to get... Where did it go? Oh, there it is. This one's pretty simple. Uh, 
I haven't been telling you which way to push it, but hopefully you can figure it out. Um, I'm sure you can. But you want to head this way. Once it gets there, you should be able to uh, climb up and jump. Ah, damn it. Got too close. Just be careful with the dang freezers because they can piss you off. And now here we're going to use our second to last bottle of blue fire. And the mini boss used to get the iron boots is kind of a disappointment. It's just a stinking wolfos. So you can slice these little pillars to get some hearts. This guy's easy. Remember, just all you have to do is backflip and slash him. And literally, he's easy. That's your boss battle for the mini dungeon known as the Ice Cavern. So we'll go ahead and we'll grab the Iron Boots. And then a little cutscene will ensue where Sheik is going to teach you how to play the Serenade of Water, which will teleport you to Lake Hylia. Alright, so now you're going to learn how to play the Serenade of Water, which it's really easy. One thing I've noticed, Sheik's harp sounds a lot like a piano. Oops. Ah, dang it. Alright, from here, we're gonna try on our new iron boots. And, uh, you'll have to be kinda quick, cause you can only breathe for so long. Because obviously, you know, you're not a fish, you can't breathe underwater. You take off the boots when we get here, and then we're gonna head directly out of the, uh, ice cavern. And now remember we saved a uh, bottle of blue fire, so when you get here, put your uh, iron boots back on, and we'll grab another heart piece, this will be number 26, sorry, 25. Now we will start telling you you can't breathe. Of course, he can breathe and move around for a minute and 50 seconds, which is kind of impressive, because if I could do that, I'd, you know, I'd be swimming a lot more. We'll go ahead and grab this, and then we'll take the boots off, and then we'll go grab our blue tunic real fast. And we're going to use it with this red, red ice next to the Zora King, which will thaw him out. Go ahead and talk to him. He's going to talk about uh, you having a hard time breathing underwater, and he's going to give you the blue tunic. Alright, from there, we're going to start the uh, bigger on sword trading game. So I'll meet you guys in Kakariko Village, and I'm going to quit the video right now. See you guys later.